people it's time the sun conference finals are here i am your host dark devil 26 here bringing you the sun conference finals and before you say anything at all yes i'm fully aware that there's four mods on the screen for each side we dc'd midway through the match the internet is an asshole people remember that the internet is an asshole just remember that if you're gonna take anything from this video the internet sucks balls it really does i'm really salty that we dc'd and it was a good game up until that point of the DC. And now I can't show you guys what happened. Instead, now I have to tell you turn by turn what happened. Not nearly the same thing, I know. But I'm very salty that we DC'd. It was a very big match. And now I have nothing to show you guys. And I didn't feel like recreating the entire battle. In case you guys don't know, I'm a very busy man. I work six days a week. I take five college classes. I really did not have the time to recreate the match. I had work later on that day. I really was not in the mood to recreate the match. So, again, I apologize. I really hate when the internet just decides to be an asshole, but it is what it is. Now I'm gonna shut up and get into his team. His team is Tyranitar, Togekiss, Needle Queen, Espeon, Medicham, Pilot Swan, Mega Charizard, Wise, Zapdos, Durant, Noivern, and Kofagrigus. So, going into the match, I was very much afraid of Charizard Y. He doesn't even bring it. He brings Durant, Tyranitar, Togekiss, Pilot Swan, Zapdos, and Metacham. Zapdos and Metacham died before the DC. Just didn't feel like bringing them again, just due to recreation purposes. So, as you can see on my squad, we got Empoleon, Entei, Heracross, and Weezing on the screen. Mega Sableye and Mammoth Swine went down, and they're off the screen. Now I'm going to go to my team in detail. Mammoth Swine here is max attack, 196 speed, and 60 HP, with Icicle Crash, Ice Shard, Earthquake, and Stealth Rock. That is enough speed to outspeed Jolly, Max Speed, Tyranitar. We got Empoleon here in the building. Empoleon is 240 HP, 4 defense, 4 special attack, 248 to special defense, and 8 speed. We got Hidden Power Rock, which is why the EVs are weird. Scald, Defog, and Stealth Rock. Then we have Weezing. Weezing is 244 HP, 148 defense, and 116 special defense. We that's enough to take 2 Life Orb Iron Heads from Durant. And I can live 2 of them automatically. So now we have Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, Pink Flame, and Will-O-Wisp. Also, my special defense investment is to take Thunderbolt better from Needle Queen, which he also doesn't end up bringing. Again, he brought nothing I expected. He caught me soft guard with the stuff he brought. Anyway, let's get back into my team. So, Entei's here in the building. Entei has Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Iron Head, and Stone Age. We got 4 HP, 252 attack, 48 special defense, and 204 speed. That is enough to outspeed the Metacham. And I can take a Needle Queen, Modest, Life Orb, Max Special Attack, Sheer Force, Boosted, Earth Power, because I am Assault Best. Then we got Heracross here. Heracross is Scarf. We got 28 HP, Max Attack, 4 Defense, 4 Special Defense, and 220 Speed. We got Close Combat, Knock Off, Stone Age, and Earthquake. And that is enough speed to outspeed Jolly, Max Speed, Metacham. I put the rest in Attack, and the defenses in HP. So now I'm going to do something a little different. Like I said, this video is going to be mostly me talking, and I apologize. But I'm going to go through the turns, turn by turn, before the DC, then hop into the battle. And I'll show you after the DC what happened. So, let's go right into the pre-DC match. So, I lead with Entei. Because seeing my matchup, Entei was my best lead no matter what. He leads Metachamp. So... Me having a Mega Sableye in the back, I decide to switch into my Mega Sableye, not Mega Evolved, of course. And he actually predicts that and goes for Baton Pass, and he goes into his Tyranitar. So, me not having a good matchup, I just decide to stay in and Will-O-Wisp hope for the best. I, I mean, I wondered why he switched into Tyranitar, even though it wasn't really a good matchup for me. I just decided to Will-O-Wisp hope for the best, and he goes into Togekiss. And I burn the Togekiss. So, then he's going to heal Bell as I switch to Weezing. So now my Weezing's in on his Togekiss after he heals his burn. And it's just a neutral situation for me, nothing really happened. Now he's going to switch into his Metacham, and I will with, and I burn his Metacham. Awesome. Big threat of his is burn. So now, I'm going to switch in back into my Mega Sableye, and he's just going to high jump kick. He's definitely feeling suicidal today. Red Metacham. He kills himself with the high jump kick recoil after two of them. I just knock off. So then Tyranitar comes in and I will o wisp but this is where he catches me so off guard. He goes for substitute before I get off a will o wisp He's a substitute Tyranitar. 
and I go for Will-O-Wisp, and unfortunately, I don't get the burn, because duh, he's behind us up. Very scary situation here, as I knew right away, when he revealed Sub, he's a Sub-Dragon Dance Tyranitar, and I thought, this is where I'm going to lose 6 l I actually felt like I was going to lose the match 6 l So, I actually just go the Power Gem. He actually chooses not to Dragon Dance turn 1. He misses the Stone Edge, and I get a Power Gem off. So then, now he's going to go for the Dragon Dance, and I Power Gem again. Doesn't break the sub. So now, he Dragon Dances again, I get up another Power Gem, and now I break the sub. Now I feel like I have no choice to prevent the 6-0 other than going to my Choppleberry Empoleon. I go to my Empoleon, he goes for the sub, and now he's going to go for the superpower. My Choppleberry activates, I go for Scald, break the sub. Awesome. This Granitar is becoming less and less of a threat. But he goes for superpower, kills all my Empoleon, and before you say anything, I did bring Empoleon to this battle for recreation purposes. You'll see later on. But Empoleon goes down to Tyranitar. But now I go into my Heracross, which is Scarf. I know Heracross can do a lot of damage to Tyranitar, even though I do not outspeed. He is plus two, I am plus one, because I'm Scarf. But he's at minus two attack, which means he can't touch me. He goes into his Zapdos, and I close combat. And I do nothing because, well, he's a Zapdos, and I'm a Heracross. Now I'm going to switch to Mammal Swine predicting the Thunderbolt, the Heat Wave, but he actually goes for the Air Cutter. And he does a reasonable amount of damage to my Mammal Swine. And he switches in his Pilo Swine, he switches in his Young Mammal Swine. And I go for my Rocks. And, which is absolutely crucial because his team is so weak to Rocks. It's ridiculous. Uh, his team is by far, in the league this season, his team is by far the most weak to entry hazards of anybody in the league. So I needed my rocks up, and I got him up against his pile of swine. I switch into my Mega Sableye, and he goes for Earthquake, and it does a shit ton of damage. Catches me so off guard, I felt like it would have done less. So after that, I decided to switch into my Heracross, so he goes for another Earthquake. Now I'm in a good position. And now, he sets up his own rocks on my Heracross as I go for close combat. So now I get my Heracross... I close combat and I hit him hard, which is awesome for me. It's really good. Now he goes back into Zapdos. And I actually close combat again. Again, it really doesn't do much. I switch into my Mammal Swine. And my Mammal Swine is going to take another Air Cutter. And I'm just going to fire off Ice Shards and hope to God I kill the Zapdos. But I do, but unfortunately he lives one, and he gets off an air cutter, and we both go down. I die to life orb, he kills me with air cutter. So, he actually now goes to Durant, I go to Heracross. I switch out because I know for a fact he's Scarfed, because I can't outspeed even though I am Scarfed. I go to Mega Sableye's Death Fodder. So, now, Entei comes in, and this is where we DC'd. Now, I'm going to recreate the battle here, just get up my rocks, and he is going to do the same. So now, I'm going to go into the match, and I'm going to talk about my situation right now, instead of you guys having to deal with the recreation nonsense. So now, it's a three-on-three. Three. We simply brought Swine and Empoleon because, well, we needed our rocks up, and I did bring two rockers. So, his Swine died somewhere in the battle, and my Empoleon died somewhere in the battle as well. So we just decided to set up our rock. And again, I'm just going to talk about my situation instead of talking about the DC recreation. So it's 3 on 3 right now. I have my Entei, I have my Heracross, and I have my Weezing left. He has his Tyranitar, he has his Togekiss, and he has his Durant. I need my Heracross to win the game. Heracross is by far the most important piece I have. Otherwise, I will not win this game. I need my Heracross to win. So, another thing I need is I need my Weezing for the Togekiss. And if he gets his Tyranitar safely into my Weezing, he gets up a sub and Dragon Dances, I lose. So I cannot let that matchup happen. So that's my mindset going into this match post DC. So now, I am going to just hope to dear lord that I get the matchup that I want, which is Heracross versus Tyranitar. 
I really want that matchup to happen. Is that how I can get a big hit off something, kill something? Even if it's Togekiss, I can just go to Entei, I can just go to Weezing. I want the Heracross versus Tyranitar matchup. And the problem is, I don't want Tyranitar at plus two, otherwise I will lose the game. I cannot let Tyranitar get to plus two. So when this DC recreation bullshit ends, which I'll let you know, I'll just continue to talk about my matchup. So, when we DC'd, I had Entei in and he had Durant. So, he previously just killed my, um, I think it was my, he just killed, he killed something. He definitely killed something. He killed my Mega Sableye. Killed my Mega Sableye with the Iron Head. So now, he's scarfed in the Iron Head, which is what's going to happen here. He's going to kill my Empoleon here, scarf himself in Iron Head. And this is where the battle is going to restart. So now I'm going to go to my Entei here. And he scarfed an Iron Head. He can't do much. It's because I'm an Entei and he's a Grant. So I'm going to go to my Entei here. And he's forced to switch because he can't stay in. Because then he just loses his Durant. Which is by far his most important cog to win his battle. And he switches out. And he's going to go into his Togekiss. I just decided Sacred Fire was my best play because, well, I can get a burn off something, I can get a big hit off something, I can kill the Durant. There's no reason why I could or shouldn't fire off a Sacred Fire. Seeing as how we went for Togekiss, I just decided to fire off an Iron Head and the Togekiss goes down. Perfect. Now it's 3-2 in my favor. I'm in a great situation now. Togekiss is down, which means I don't really need Weezing anymore. But he's going to go to Durant, and I was really afraid of the Rock Slide or the Super Power. So I knew right off of that, I'm going to Weezing. Because Weezing is my wall for this Durant at this point. So, he is going to go for the Rock Slide here. And it's going to do negligible damage. And it's going to not flinch me, of course. Because, well, I just switched in. And he has Hustle. And I'm thinking of Sheer Force. God damn, people. I'm just so out of it right now. It's like 2 in the morning. But he's going to go for another Rock Slide here. Thank God he's not going to get the flinch. And... I'm going to burn this Durant. Now, the reason I went for Will-O-Wisp on his Durant instead of Flamethrower was because I did not want him predicting my Flamethrower and going to Tyranitar. Because if that matchup happened, I lose. I cannot let that matchup happen. I cannot let him get the safe switch into his Tyranitar without getting burned. So I just felt like spamming Will-O-Wisp was my best play. Easily could have killed this Durant, but I just felt like it was way too risky because then he safe switch into his Tyranitar and he could set up sub Dragon Dances and win the game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would I not go for Flamethrower when I can easily just switch in my Heracross? I don't know. The thought didn't occur to me at the time. I did not. I just did not want Tyranitar coming in and sweeping my team. Bottom line, that's why. Plus, the thought just didn't occur to me. I did not want him going for the switch, which he actually ends up going for this turn. and ends up going to the Tyranitar. I do predict it, and I go for will -Wing. Now, this is where stuff gets bad. And I'm actually going to pause the video after this turn. I don't normally do this in a recording, but this is by far the most important turn my season has had so far. This turn right here. And I'm going to pause it right here. I have a few options. This is the 50-50 that decides the game pretty much. Now what's going to happen is I have two options. Do I stay in and let him sub and dragon dance all over my face? Or do I switch to Entei, predicting that, and hope to dear lord he doesn't go for Stone Edge? If I predict this right, I'm in a great spot to potentially come back and win the game. And now I'm saying come back even though I'm up, is because Tyranitar shits on my team. I need to get my hair cross in safely. And Durant's a problem too. So unfortunately I'm going to have to sack off Amon here. Do I sack Weezing off or do I sack Entei off is my question. Now it all comes down to what I think he's going to do. And what I think he's going to do is I think he's going to sub. I think he's going to try and set up. So I'm going to put in my Entei right now. And again, I'm hoping to dear lord he doesn't go for Stone Edge and predict this. I felt like him setting up was the perfectly logical play, seeing as how Weezing is set up fodder. He could set up on um, Weezing all he wants, because Weezing cannot touch Tyranitar. So I decided to go to Entei here, try and predict him to go for sub, and I try to predict him to go for the Dragon Dance. But he ends up going for the Stone Edge, and he hits. Devastating. Absolutely devastating that I predicted this 50-50 wrong. And I can't be upset. It was a very, very godly prediction on Techno's part, I should say. 
because I guess he did predict my end tag. Because killing Weezing off is definitely not the right play. Because then I would have gone to Heracross and I would have won the game. He absolutely predicted me to go to Entei that turn. So I kudos to him on such a really good play. I felt like that was a really good play on that his part. And now I'm going to go to my Heracross. And this is where I'm going to kill the Tyranitar. And then this is where stuff gets interesting once again. I'm going to kill the Tyranitar. And now it's down to Heracross and Weezing versus Durant. And his Durant is Scarf. It outspeeds my entire team. So now I actually make a pretty stupid play in my opinion. But I did run Calc. So it's not as stupid as I thought. So, now here is my conflict. I'm at minus one defense right now. So that means he can hit me hard with an iron head. He could have killed me with a roll if I would have switched. Since he's burned. But I decide to stay in here with the minus one defense. And I die and I lose my air cross. So now it's down to Weezing versus Durant. 1v1. It literally comes down to if he hits an iron head or if he misses an iron head. And it all comes down to this turn. Will he hit the iron head? Will I go home? Yup. Our season comes to an end today. It was a good run, people. It was a really good game for the conference finals. But unfortunately, it is what it is. We did lose. And I'm more salty about the DC in all honesty. I'm so pissed about the DC. But it is what it is. The internet's an asshole, and our season is over. We went down fighting. I'm very happy to have made it to the final four for a second straight season. And I really wanted to make it farther, but hey, I could set goals, but it's not gonna happen all the time. Can't be mad. Gave me a good game. I'm more mad about the DC. Because the internet's an asshole, like I said like four or five times now. But he gave me a good game. Very happy to have lost to such a worthy opponent. And I wish Techno, I wish you the best of luck in the finals. He will play either Chime or Jose, the winner of the Moon Conference Finals. So, we are now going in the off season, And I know what you're thinking. Oh no, Brendan, what are you going to do? What is you're going to do? Your channel's going to become so desolate without league content. Fear not, my people. We are doing an off season league when Sun and Moon comes out. And we are going to use the Alolan decks to draft and make teams. We're going to use Teams of 8, and we're just going to do a mini league with all the new stuff. So we will have more league contact, more IBL stuff is on the way. We will go into the off season with our head held high. It's not a big deal that we lost. I lost to a worthy opponent. I went down fighting. I did a lot better than I did last season. I finished 9-3 and this season, 6-6 six and six last season. Huge upgrade. Couldn't be happier. But now... It's time to move on to the offseason. It was a good run. Very much enjoyed Season 2. But now it's time to open the door for Season 3. And the offseason league, of fucking course we're coming back. I run the goddamn league. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm not going to leave and complain that I lost to a 50-50. I'm not going to say, oh, he's such a cunt. Uh, he missed an iron. He should have missed an iron. Pat, you loser. No, not like that. Not my way of thinking. It was a good game. It's just a shame I didn't get to show you guys. Anyway, our season comes to an end today. Wyatt is going to the finals. I wish him the best of luck against Chime or Jose. And I'm going to bid you all adieu. It's been a fun season. Thank you all for supporting me. I really do appreciate those who watched all my battles and followed me. Thank you enough. And I got to give a big shout out to a few people. I got to give a big shout out to all the Jenners that have helped us in the league. Helped us succeed. Especially my man Judas Thundersteel. You're the boy, man. Like, you've been such a team player and helping us succeed in the league. I want to thank you for a good season and all your help. I just thought I'd get that out there because this man certainly deserves a shout out as he's put in a lot of hard work for the league. Anyway, enough of my rambling. I bet you're tired of it by now, but that's the end of our season. Good run. I love my team. I'm going to miss it, but I'm going to say goodbye and I'm going to close the book on season two. It was a good run, but until next time, guys, battle on.